Hello everyone, Prince Gouda here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Last time we took care of Skull Woods, conquered everything that's there. I could use that heart. Turtles help. Turtles, you did not help. Anyway, yeah, we, last time we conquered Skull... is that blue? Yeah, it's blue. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. We, we conquered Skull Woods, and with our muchly, much vastly improved uh, artillery. But now... As you guys have voted, as of this as of this point in the recording, the next engine we're taking on is going to be Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock, it's a rather confusing place. But even get into Turtle Rock, you're going to need some ice. Now the, stand, now, the rented ice rod will do fine, but I have upgraded the ice rod to be this, which is pretty nice. Huh. Never have done that over water. But this is why I tell you to upgrade to the... This is why I'm telling you to upgrade, because this place is going to use your ice rod to its fullest extent. <coughs> I've got something in my throat. Ooh, can I get that fairy? Can I get that fairy? Can I has it? No, I can't. Okay. Now, while we're here in Turtle Rock, for those of you who've been watching the whole series or following along the whole series, I'm going to tell you that this is that this place is going to have the last heart piece that we were not have not been able to get this whole time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Turtle Rock. Which will actually have an upgrade that's optional, but will help those of you that are stingy and, and didn't want to and didn't want to buy a shield. So yeah, Turtle Rock, it's a little bit of a maze, oddly enough. Full of platforms that are covered in fire and ice. Sonic Boom, here it comes. Oh, I broke the thing open. Yeah, there's gonna be lots of platforms here. And you're going to want to make sure you pop every one of these up here to get yourself a treasure chest. The compass. Vital. Now I'm going to go over this. I'm going to go back over this way. Because there is a key we can get just by going along the wall here, I believe. Yep, there's, there's your first key. And you've also got a treasure chest in this room that has the, uh, the item for you. Which is actually right over there. I just gotta remember how to get there now. Actually, with the fact I've done this, I may have... No, I haven't scooted it over. Anyway. These are basically giant seesaws. If you, if you don't freeze them, they'll go up and down and teeter-totter all over the place. Ow. 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 Jerk. I don't think I can get there from where I am. I think I actually have to go around. Go me. I've screwed everything up already. I have, and I've barely started the dungeon. Let's go over here. There we go. We're across, and now hop on the hop on the seesaw here. Go up and over. Push this button. Oh, I thought I thought that would have revealed our uh, special item. My bad. Yo, my bad, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's. Now there, oh good, whiz ropes. Now this dungeon isn't gonna be. Oop, did I hit one? I hit him. Crap. This dungeon's not gonna be, not gonna be really hard. It's just gonna be confusing because you have to go up and down and up and down and up and down. So the path I'm taking. Probably not the most optimal path. I'm just kind of grasping at straws for what direction I need to go. Now that chest there, I believe that's the boss key. Oh, we're up here. Oh, nope, this is the item I was thinking about. Alright. Unde va? Let's just start exploring rooms. Actually... This dungeon has the return of an enemy that not a lot of people like in this game. But yeah, um, this is why I say get the upgraded ice rod because it helps out so much in this in this temple. All right, now I think we're gonna. Yep, we're locked in. We're done here. Gotta love that great spin attack. And we have a halfway point, so now we can teleport between floors. Huzzah! 
still is not helping our current situation of being of being kind of lost and confused on where we can even go at this point, right? You would be right. Well, for the most part. Now that we can do this, we can kind of get around as we need to. Oh, not that. This one. Now, now then, I have to go through that whole spiel again. You know, I should have probably cleared out the bottom floor before I even cl start clearing out this top floor, but eh. General impatience will get, will get, will get me that. Cool story, Wizrope. Going along here. There we go. Anyway. You should be able to start using your keys, start opening stuff, get the boss key right away. We could probably finish the dungeon right now if we wanted to. Holy crap, I actually wasn't anticipating going this quick through this place. Oh. Haha. <laughs> crap. So the wizard robe's in this room. I can't hit that. So I guess the wizard robes in this room are hiding a secret from us. Yeah, okay, that's where it is. So there are... Oh, God. Okay. So as far as I can tell, there are four wizard robes in this room that we have to... Oh, we can't do that yet. There are four wizard robes we have to go through and around in order to get at everything in here. Damn it. Could you stop? Okay. Oh, button. There we go. That's what I was looking for. The button that will raise up that floor so I can go across this place. Okay, sure, I'll use the lava pillar. It's safe. It's not going to burn me alive just because I touched it. Okay, so I'm, I'm down a key at this point. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I want to hit the whiz robes. Let me hit them. There we go. Defeated another one. Oh god. <laughs> this is working out swimmingly, I swear. It's like a giant puzzle that I don't like. There we go. And I think that is part of our puzzle? I am not 100% certain. Hi! How's it going? I think we're slowly working closer to our to the end goal of our puzzle, actually. By defeating all the whiz robes up here. Let's see, now, if actually... Oh, if I can only get over there. Sorry, now I'm looking... Oh, there it is. Oh, I have the solution. Does it always spawn up there? That's the question. Because if it does... That's where it spawns. I'm actually going to cheese it a little bit. Yep, cheesing it. Look at all that crap macaroni and cheese I just did. Because I chose not to do what the game wanted me to. Oh, boy. Well, crap. Well, at the cost of my life a little bit, we can actually get over here to this area over, over here and get the chest that is going to be full of our wildest dreams. Put me up there. Thank you. This chest having the Hillian Shield. Now, we can, now, like the red shield from Link to the Past, you can protect against magic attacks. Also, I'm going to do this. Because that is an end goal we'll have to get to at some point, but not from here. I think we have to go back down to get to have most of our dreams and wishes come true. Man, I, I told you to to rock completely out of order, but I'm happy I did. He's already pushed that button, so let's just start going in rooms. Screw it. Okay, I'm actually not screw it because apparently that's not going to do anything for me. Because we have to teleport from other places. Fantastic. Did I not? Hold on. Did I not figure out how to get down? 
I must not have. Sorry, if you couldn't see, I was flipping through the map on the bottom screen there. Okay. Lesson learned. Don't don't make the, the shiny rock monster angry. Just let him live his life like he wants to. He's his own man. He's his own man's. Now, is there something up there I can get at? No, it's just the door to the second floor. <laughs> I rhymed. Aw, oh, and I can't go... Eh, can't go along the wall here. I can't even be clever. I wanted to be clever. I wanted to be smart. Oh, I could have been smart right there. So I have to decide not to. Oh well. Helmosaurs. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Just screw it. We throw bombs. That's right. I don't mess around. If I can't reach what I want, I'll throw a bomb. In a fit of rage. No, can I... Oh, I just plain can't go into that room yet. Okay. Nope, I want to do this. Run away from the bomb. Run away from your mistakes, my friend. I'm good at that. Hello, mistakes. Goodbye, mistakes. Maybe never meet again, mistakes. Oh, I can't... Okay, then where do I go? Okay, so we're on this floor. I'm going to keep teleporting around. This is why Total Rock is a little bit of a maze. Cause, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't teleport away from here. Ha! Got them all. Now, I think this one actually leads us to the fairy spot out here. Which, check my items. I am in the mood and the market for fairies. Come here. Put that thing in a bottle, and I can put one more in a bottle. Oh, I got it in the on the last half of that swing. So I think I've got a golden bee. Oh, yeah, that's something I never mentioned. While attempting, <laughs> as soon as I got done grinding for the bee, at the end of one of the late, at, at the end of one of the more recent episodes, or while I was fighting the Mimes after I got done grinding for uh, bees, like a bee spawn on like my my number twenty, and a, a golden bee spawn, I was just like. Oh, come on! You cannot be cereal! You're Captain Crunch with me right now. Anyway, let's go! Let's go around the place. I feel like I've messed, up, I've messed something up. And by messed something up, I mean messed something up. Something's messed up. Um. Well, that's not it. Hmm. Let's teleport up so I don't have to mess around with it down here. Teleporter is very handy. Now let's see, there's the boss door over there, there's the B key door over there. I could have gotten 100 rupees by rounding that thing. I am so schmirt. I don't think there's really anything I can do in here until I get more keys. Okay, we gotta we gotta walk around and experiment with stuff to see where I messed up because apparently I missed where I can get a key somewhere. So there's nothing additional up here. There we go, got him. Except nothing else happened here. Uh, let me shimmy along the wall here and see what I find. Nothing really. Oh. Oh, I see it. So I could I can't get into that room down there. I'm just dumb and a little and a little slow. Ow. I'm just a wee bit slow, not completely slow, just uh I'm just going 5 under the speed limit. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Just give me a few minutes. Okay, so let's get some of these goodies up here. And actually, thinking about it, I didn't get myself enough of this, did I? Nope, I did. I can get some goodies over here, and then once this magic meter, meter refills, as I squander it, once my magic meter refills, I'll be able to scoop around. And I think, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and make the episode a little long today, because I'm 
I think I'm that close to finishing this off. I think I'm that close to finishing off Total Rock already. We just gotta go get. We just gotta go get the last heart piece and find our way. Find a way to find a way to somehow get up towards that one key. Which I think I found it. You know what? Screw it. Everything's ice now. All right. Oh, or I could go up here. Actually, let me go around first. So I think this will lead me to something special. And by special, I mean I'm special. And by I'm special, I mean yes, I'm actually special. I'm not retarded. Ignore that comment. That was truly tasteless. Okay, I'm going to face this way and back up. <clears throat> All right. So around here is which we can warp, use to warp to here. Which we can be in this room. Now this room, like I mentioned before, you can do all rooms. You can do this whole dungeon with the, with even the rented ice rod. It's going to be a little bit of a time sink here because you only can put down one icicle at a time compared to the four. So be prepared to move. I might be dead. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> well, I tried. So now we'll try again. This time with a little more careful planning. I'm not rushed. I'm not rushed in the slightest. There we go. Perfect. That's what they give those outlines for, so you can plan your route and get another piece of heart. And that's the last heart, uh, heart container in the game. Or heart piece in the game, I should say. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that and get off of here. And they just make our careful execution back on the dry land. Oh, would you look at that? Although now I'm actually slightly perturbed because there's still an extra piece of heart out there. Oh, don't touch. Or not, not piece of heart, there's an extra treasure chest out here. How does one get said treasure chest on the corner of the world? Oh. I know how, I just didn't go all the way over to it. Because once we get this treasure chest, then we'll be able to, like, go around and get... and get up high enough to in order to get to... the last, uh, thing. Okay. So there should be a treasure chest somewhere on this lava spot. I don't know how to activate it. Crap. Well, wait, no. Well, I lost on how to activate that treasure and it's gonna drive me nuts now. Cause I know I pushed, I have pushed this button. It's depressed. It's depressed and, and contemplating terrible thoughts. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. I have to cut away, actually, while I go research how to actually get at that treasure chest. Never thought I'd have to do that for a Zelda game. I am trying to be as thorough with this as I, as I can be, so... The f me cutting away is not is not me, like, uh... How, do, how should I say it? Me cutting away to figure out how to open that treasure chest is not... Is not me cheating so to say it's more or less to make sure I'm being as thorough as possible in getting everything yeah this might this might take me a minute while I just think about things oh I've got a key here what how about I use this key I've got leave me alone please there push this button Okay, they made another. They made another set of stairs. Oh, it actually let me in here, which is the way to the boss door. Okay. Well, now that I can see how I get to the boss door from here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go poke around downstairs, 
check and check my sources to see how I can get at that one treasure chest because that is still driving me nuts. Maybe I have to kill everything in the room. I'll double. I'll work on that. But I guess while I'm putzing around with that, I will see you around shortly after I figure it out. Because man, am I slow on this? Okay, that literally is what it is. You have to just kill everything in this room. Noted. We are now smarter because of my stupid. For 100 rupees. But that is finally every treasure chest in this place. And now we can go up and go straight to the boss. No strings attached. Now, the boss of Turtle Rock... I don't remember too much, actually. Uh... There was one bar there was one boss that was also in a place called Turtle Rock in Link to the Past, but I don't I don't think it's that boss. I think it's something new. I could be wrong. Never said I was always right. Let's see, hit this switch with my ice powers. And there we go. We're into the boss lair. And I'm bouncing off of every spike known to man. Alright, get yourself all healed up. Push this button and then, oh, and then be oblivious to the fact that there's wizard ropes. No, screw it. And then sink into the boss's lair. Oh, it is a. Uh, it was try something in, in the old one, but yeah, kind of the same thing. So try something or other. Basically, drop ice on him. He'll be upset. That's that's the whole point of this boss fight is just drop ice anytime you see him. Eventually, he'll get upset and he'll chase you around the arena with a lava spout, similar to that of your upgraded fire rod. But eventually, he'll stop and then you can go at him again. Oh, I stopped him. Look at that. Uh, I don't think he liked that. <laughs> He's not about to like it more in a second when this, uh... When he lands and this ice drops on his head. Hi! Have some ice. So you can hit him with your sword, you can hit him with your ice rod. Go nuts, really. I think there's a... I think there's an easier time... I think there's a better time to attack him, really. Five after he's done doing this spin attack. Yep, he's invulnerable. Should have figured. Run away. <laughs> he used explosion. Catch. Okay, I'm just being dumb and reckless. Well, it's a good thing I got all those fairies, right? And good thing he's dead, right? <laughs> I can't remember what the name of this boss was in Link to the Past. It's gonna drive me nuts. Oh well, he's dead now. Simple as that, he's dead. Dead, dead, or deadsies. Anyway, let's get our piece apart. And... Impa? Hmm, not the one I was expecting, but Impa it is. Gimme. Anyway, all the holes are sealed up now, so we can't fall back in. We just have to go up and... touch Impa. Don't ever repeat that to anybody you ever talk to. Who did you listen to today on the YouTube? I listened to some guy who said he touched an old lady. Oh, I think you're done watching YouTube now, Timmy. Ah oh, yes, Link. Here you are. I shouldn't have doubted the princess for a moment. You are the hero of time. Of our time. Not time. Different game. Well, I was actually a hot lady. What? Nothing? And what a splendid hero you make. You've endured so much to get this far. Yet as Hyrule is facing the same threats as the legend of old, you have so much more to endure. You must find the remaining sages. Once we have been united, then we will help you do what we, the hero of legends did so long ago. 
So please, rescue the rest of us. What else do you have to say, Lady Impa? Okay. Oh. My computer went into sleep mode. Well, it's going to be awkward for editing. It's going to be awkward for editing. I hope everything. I hope everything's still going on the frap side of it, but let's get out of here. Need reminder to self, turn off sleep mode. Oh, lovely Zelda, can you begin to comprehend how lucky you are? Such legends, such heroes. We had legends, we had heroes. Lorul had hope. But all that is gone. Lorul has only me now. And your hero, of course. And if, Hyru and if the hero Hyrule fails me, oh, but I must have courage. He will succeed, or all is lost. Well, that's a vote of confidence, I guess. Anyway. So as of this point in our, in our adventure, we now have all the heart pieces. We now have the Helian Shield, which can block almost any attack. And we have only a, hand, a small handful of dungeons left to go to. So everybody, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. And come back next time, we will go to your next dungeon toys, which was... The Swamp Palace. I'll see you folks there.